Hey everybody, Stacy here. I'm in a big hurry because I got this resin mix up here and I had these colors left over from last night. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. Um, let's put this one on first because I'm most worried about it getting too gooey too fast. The beach portion. It's already pretty thick, but I think I can make it work. All right. Um, now we'll do the, try to get the ocean part to work. Oh good, okay, this is still, it's still kind of clump, it's kind of clumpy, but it's okay. Clumpy I can deal with. Solidified, not so much. And, um, yeah, I had these colors left over from, um, uh, working on that beach painting last night. Let's see, one of these was acting squirrely, so this one. It's already pretty thick, but I'm gonna try to use it anyway. It'd be better just to do this and see. Um, hope the heat will um, start up a little bit. It's pretty thick. We'll see. Anyway, um, I wanted to, I, I didn't want to waste them, so I thought I'd try this. I hope the heat will loosen it up a little bit. And I'd tell you about these colors if I knew about them, but I don't. Um, there's some turquoise. There's some Prussian blue. This is pale blue by somebody. Um, uh, Liquitex, I believe. Um, that sand is just uh, a mix of... Um, a little bit of uh, gold. I'm in here. Gold pigment and um, it's uh, eye candy. Um, gold pigment and um, uh, white paint. All right, let's hit it with the heat to see if we can get it to liven up a little bit. I think I've got my problem fixed with my tilting pouring pan. I think. It's not it's not tilting off anyway. Oh yeah, that's good, it's moving. see some cells in there even. Cool. That blue's not wanting to move very much. That um, sky blue. It's okay. If it'll just, you know, if, it, if I can mix around it, you know, just do that and Maybe it'll still look pretty. I don't want to torch it. It's 
you know, too much. It's moving. it up just a little bit so I don't lose all my blue over there, my dark blue. The green is doing real well. It's making some cells and looking real pretty. And I have some way white over there if it hasn't solidified in the meantime. If it did, I'll have to make up some more. Do that in another stage. That blue is loosening up some. That's good what I wanted. I wanted the light blue to be at the top. And blow out. Cool, okay. Let's see. Oh, we still have white. Yay. Okay, now, what I do to do this, I can't turn that thing off without unplugging it, so I just have to deal with the noise. I put a layer of clear where I'm going to put my wave, and then out. That's hard to do. some white there and then hit it straight up and down blow a little bit up on the shore and then blow the rest of it out about putting a wave in the back part. That just kind of busts it up when you hit it straight on like that. And then you can kind of correct it with the angle when you hit it at an angle. We hope we get a little lacing or something going on out there. I see some. Pretty, okay. Now, 
um, just put a wave right across here. Turn on. And with this one, there's a blob. But this one, I don't really want it to go any particular direction. I just want it to be there, so. I won't um, really try to directionalize it very much, just a little bit to the sides just to get some lacing going on, but I don't really want to move it any. being that thick, um, blobs are kind of to be expected. There's one. There's one. Cover that up. Get these other little blobs out of here. And a big one right there in the middle. I didn't get it all. There. That up. When you're moving these blobs, if you have blobs and you have to move them out, it does. It's a good idea to heat it while you're doing it. That way, the resin around it is already ready to move when you get the blob out of the way. There we go. I'm happy with that. Ouch! I can't burn my toe. Yeesh. I dropped it down there by my toe and it burned it. <laughs> oh Lord. The things that happened to me in my arm. I mean. Alright. I'm gonna get y'all down where y'all can see up close. Um, I better give that a quick torch real fast though. And I gotta put a new uh, garbage bag down over here because this resin got all over the place. I need three or four hands when I do resin because I'm by nature pretty unorganized and nature and uh, resin takes organization you know it really does and um, 
I'm just never prepared and uh, it causes me problems. But I want y'all to see up close and tell me what you think. I think it turned out pretty good for just an impromptu thing. I just sort of half-assed decided to do this a few minutes ago. There's still a few little blobs there, but I don't think they'll show. If I have to, I'll put another coat of resin over it. Yeah, I'm gonna torch it. I see some air bubbles in there. I'm gonna torch it real quick, but that's pretty much all the work I'm gonna do, and I'll torch real quick. But thank y'all for joining me. Uh, I appreciate it, just like every time. And I'll make some more videos the rest of the day because I make them every day. Thank you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.